Hi guys, it's Amy here and we're looking at the Quickly course tool and today we're going to look at Create Assignment. So if I click on Create Assignment, what this allows me to do is create an assignment in multiple courses. So if you know that you have a same or similar assignment that has to go to multiple courses, you can use this to quickly create this. I'm just going to search for my courses and I'm going to use my, my test ones so it doesn't affect any student work. There we go, and I can clear my search. And now I can actually go into create my assignment. So I'll give it an, a name, give it a, a very recognizable, relevant name so that both you and the students will know uh, what the assignment is about. I can give it some points. So however you do your scoring, whether it's out of 100, 2, 3, whatever, give it points um, for your assignment. Uh, you can also give it a due date. So I can select the calendar icon and I can say when it's due. So I can say it's due on this Friday and I can select the little clock here and choose a time. Um, uh, so let's just say it's due at four o'clock this Friday. Now I can give it some instructions here. So um, you have one hour. Um, pass mark is 60. Uh, any kind of instructions that you would normally add, um, you, you can add these here. Uh, you can also upload a document. So if you have a, a worksheet that you want them to look at, to fill in, you can upload this here. So it would just be a case of selecting this option, choosing your file. Um, so let's just say it's uh, this file here. And there we go, we can see the file's been selected. We can then also give it a start and an end uh, date as well. So if we say it starts today at 10 and it finishes on Saturday. So the due date doesn't affect the show date, if you will. The show date can extend past the due date and it just means that students can still continue to um, submit but they, they will be marked as late because they will have passed the due date. So you can mark them down for, for it being late. With this, it default makes the assignment of fate available. If you want to go in and tweak it later, I would untick this so that you can go in and, and change the settings later if you need to, or you can just have it default available. And you can also then go in and select a content area of your course as well. Um, so you can select if you have the same content area, you would usually allow select content area and there would be a box here with the same folder structure. However, these have two different folder structures. So I'll just choose select per course and then I can choose which folder it goes into um, if, if there are folders available. And then I would hit submit and this would set up the assignment for me.